Oh putain Welcome to No Enemies Here, the show where truths are uncovered every single time. And I just uncovered a truth. <clears throat> and this is the truth of the matter. You know, I, 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 I self, I, I, I self introspect. Is that a, is that a redundancy? I, I, I look at myself a lot. Every single day I, I, I look inside myself to see what kind of human being I am and you know how how I can improve myself. It's it's for me. It ain't for you, it ain't for nobody else, it's for me. I always did everything for me. For me. I wanted the music not to please other people, but for me. I stopped a professional music career. Not for everybody else, but for me. Anyways, war games. You know, war games, I got a war gaming channel called No Enemies Here War Game News. And you'd figure this guy who does the channel knows a fair bit about war games. You know, in all honesty, I don't know shit about war games. I'm just a groupie. I just figured it out. I'm a groupie. Sure, I know the designers, the artists, and I could speak to the designers because I know certain terms. I know what I know. But compared to a guy like Artie of Artwolf's Lair, I know shit. I mean, compared to Stigler, I don't know anything. Compared to Kilroy was here, I don't know anything. Uh, Mark Herman, forget it. I mean, the guy, you know what? When Mark Herman talks to me, he doesn't want to talk war games. He just wants to talk like buddy, buddy, have fun type stuff because he wants to let go, you know? Because if he talks war games, I'm a total dolt. I'm a dilettante. Man, I played Fire in the Lake. I thought I was playing Fire in the Lake. Mark Herman was my partner, seriously. And I was playing against the player's aid, those farmers. And, um, okay, so I was hammered. But he was hammered too, and he handled it pretty good. And I don't know what was going on. I had no idea. What does this card do compared to what? How come How come we're winning? What, the, I, what did I do? I didn't do anything and we're winning. How come all of a sudden Grant just shellacked us? And he won. And then Grant asks me, so what'd you think of that game? And I said, ah, blah, blah, something like that. F Fire in the Lake. And he says, Dan, we didn't play Fire in the Lake. We played the true on whatever, the, 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 the expansion to Fire in the Lake. And I was like, Jesus Christ, you know, F me, man. I had no idea. Whatever. And and I remember asking uh, Mark Herman uh, when the War in the Pacific was coming out, whatever, like, like I'm ever gonna play the game. And he looks at me like, but really, really nicely, not belittling nothing at all, because the guy, that guy's a real mensch, okay? He's a sweetheart, he's a real human being. And he says, nah, Dan, don't buy the game, nah, it's not for you, man, forget it. Don't waste your money, you know? And I'm like, for sure I'm gonna buy the game. It's my game. You, you know what I'm saying. For sure I'm gonna buy the game, it's Mark Herman. Anyways, I've got the game, obviously, because I'm a groupie. I just figured it out. I'm a groupie. I hang around with people 
who know war games. I learned the jargon, so I fit in. You know what I'm saying? But when it starts getting a little bit too, uh, too detailed, I don't know, I'll crack a joke or something. Anyways, I'm a groupie. It's okay. I figured it out. I'm a groupie. I'm good with that, man. You know what I mean? Look, I'm still meeting a lot of people, still having a lot of fun. Like Carl Paradzi, you know, he forces me to play war games when we're there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And do this and that and that. And the guy wants to play for 10 hours. Me, after two hours, is like, ooh, I got a headache. Jesus. You know, and Ron Nicholson, Dreyfus, is sending me stuff that he's doing at the Buckeye Gum, the Gum Fest, Game Fest. And he's telling me that Artie really knows his OCS. OCS? Ocular condition? Seriously? Like, you see what I'm saying? I know it's uh, Operational Combat Series system. You see? You see? Anyways, see, I get away with it because I said operational. So it's like, oh no, Dan, Dan, you moron, it's Operational Combat System, whatever, series. So, <clears throat> anyways, it's okay. I'm not ashamed of it. Look, I'd rather be a groupie and have fun with you guys and all that and not be with you guys. At least, you know, I can throw around words like, you know, hey, this. You got FOF on that easy OC? <laughs> Fields of fire. No, no, I wanted to say L line of fire. LOF. You see? You see? I can't even I can't even bullshit. You got hey, you got LOF on that Ezoc. Whatever. Anyways. Uh The Shores of Tripoli. Man, it's happening. Okay, I'm, I'm not into it because uh, because I'm a groupie, because uh, I don't play it. But I, I don't know, Volko and all that, I, I wonder what's going on. I want to know. Kevin Bertram, if you're... Uh, send me stuff, man, will ya? I don't have time to check it out. I work like a madman. I can't even smoke a pipe with, with you know, my, 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 my pal Carl Kreider, you know, from the War Game Boot Camp. God! I'm gonna smoke Wednesday, Carl. Wednesday, we're gonna smoke a pipe together. And I'm supposed to smoke a pipe with Gilbert Tostavain. I forgot. Gilbert, I'm sorry. Holy... And Mark. Mark Wilson. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Make promises you can't keep. It, it's work, guys. I'm, uh, I'm telling you. I, uh... My schedule's all over the place. Nothing is standard. I gotta... Pitch hit for this guy, pitch hit for that, whatever. Um, if anybody's interested in my Fokker Circus uh, Pipe News um, channel, I'm going to be interviewing Russ Wellett. Russ Wellett is one of the world's greatest blenders. That's akin to a sommelier, like the world's greatest sommelier in scotch. Or in wine, wine, they're more revered in scotch, you know, they're more snooty. And the rest, these tobacco blenders are down to earth. Let me tell you something. Um, that's a hell of a, a, a hell of a gig to be a, 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 a tobacco sommelier, man. I mean, do you know how many varieties of one type of leaf there are? I mean, seriously? Okay. Okay, uh, Kevin, get in touch with me, send me stuff, okay? Don't send me these long, long, long videos. I want to put them on, so I want people to see them. But send me some, send me like a five-minute video or something, man. Um, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I just got back from work. I am going to start the show, because that's the way I do it. Intro, I start the show. When the show's done, tomorrow... I do my exit, my outro. <clears throat> Everything's natural. Everything's natural. So, from the biggest war game group you're around, have a good show.
famously known as Callendale Enrico Vanglino. Two videos out this week, Resistenza 2 and Rap, and a video called More Modeling, Meandering, Morning and Musings. Counterproductive Games. He's got no script. He's just talking about a new game he picked up. And it's a stream of consciousness. Just like On the Road by What's-His-Face from Lowell, Massachusetts. Come on, come on, he wrote that book, On the Road. Oh, God, he was a Frenchman. Ah, forget his name. But you know what I mean? And this is about Midway, Solitaire, and it's our overview. Jack Kerouac, that's who it is. Jack Kerouac. On Whiskey Charlie episode 39, The Next War, with Mitch Land. The professor that is Riccardo Mazzini has five videos. The first one with an evening with the designer and historian Enrico Acerbi. And a lack and tactical, uh, tactical, the vehicles. And on Scipio News, where everybody argues over overlay? I don't know. And also a mini war log table battles and another mini war log table battles, the English language version. You see, you can practice your Italian right there and then. Ricardo, as always, the professor. The master that is Stuka Joe, giving us a live unboxing video of Malta Besiege, the game. Designed by Steve Carey and published by Worthington Publishing. Zilla Blitz this week has five videos. Old School Unboxing Patrol and Farming Tools. Mission Snow Runner Career. Hey, who? Who doesn't want to be a farmer? Upgrading AI Trucks. Also by Stelton C. Episode 6, a game by David Thompson and Helping Michigan Farmers. Man, you know what? I kind of want to play that game. Wise Guy History is back after a little hiatus with four videos, an unboxing and overview of Mark Simonich's The U.S. Civil War, an Imperial Struggle, a GMT game, Barbarossa Army Group Center 1941 Second Edition GMT game, and again, Imperial Struggle, second pricking of the GMT game. The cop that is Wayne Hansen has two videos out this week on the same game called Midway Solitaire Parts 2 and Overview and Review of Deluxe Edition by Decision Games Midway Solitaire. The Nighthawks First Strike. Yeah, you know what? Could you imagine be, uh, being a pilot in, in, in that jet? Is it a jet? What is it? Eh? Huh? Wardy Roll plays World War II. He's finished Multiman Publishing's Advanced Squad Leader Starter Kit. A scenario to War of the Rats set in Stalingrad. Rattenkrieg. Come on, let's give you Boater 658 some love here. Let's pump up his subscription. Come on. He's doing an MDG MacArthur's War June 50. KPA. The KPA attack. One more. Dot, 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 an OSG Napoleon Last Gamble of Catherine Bra, 5 p.m. Coalition, 6 p.m. French, an MDG MacArthur's War, July 50, and a Strategy and Tactics number 333 Operation, Unthinkable Something. On Tony's Board Life, Nations at War, WSR, I forgot what WSR, WSR means, Nations at War. Hey, I forgot. Well, anyways, it's a bloody victory, turn three. Sorry, guys. Gimpy of the Gimpy Gamer has two videos on core space, firstborn scatter, terrain assembly, parts one and two, and a Whiskey Charlie with Mitch Land. On the Tank Museum, top five tanks with Finn. I thought these were Finnish tanks. No, Finn the dog. Look at him. Australian sheepdog, if I'm not mistaken. Lovely, lovely, love dogs. On the tabletop's edge, two videos. 
unboxing Arakur, a battalion combat series game from Multiman Publishing, and tutorial number 22 of World and Flames Collector Edition. And those guys of the Player's Aid review on Happy King Charles from GMT, also unboxing Long Hard Road from High Flying Dice, and Short War Games Monthly Debrief Season 2 Episode 3, and an unboxing Salerno 43 from GMT Games, a game designed by Mark Simonich. The Oaken Knight looks at the Allied response in the game by Phalanx, designed by Tetsuya Nakamura called Fire in the Sky. Yeah, that's me looking all contemplative on another channel. Yes, and it's called the Fokker Circus Pipe News where I review a tobacco by the company Sutliff called Great Outdoors. Cody of the Discriminating Gamer has four videos this week between Two Cities Solitaire and his game shelf, Cody's Game Shelf number four. Also, Nemesis, Lockdown, and a live question and answer. Ask him, where'd he get his beard? On the Board Game Chronicles, we have three videos this week. Pacific War Shorts, number two, Savo Island. Second video, Conquest and Consequence, playing as Japan, I guess in the Pacific War. And another Pacific War Shorts, number three, Wake Island, the invasion of Wake Island. It didn't turn out too good. I saw the movie. <laughs> Stephen Dolges is still going heavy on Case Yellow, 1940, turn 6 and 7. Seriously, look at the lighting. Look at it. I'm watching uh, Citizen Kane here. Huh? I swear to God. On Seek Out and Play Battle of Narvik, Warfighter World War II Expansion number 57. Sit back. Relax, don't worry, you're gonna figure out what moves to do to beat your friend in this war game, whatever, whatever, and watch the Sci-Fi Channel. You got five videos to choose from this week. Uh, one video called Killbox. Who doesn't wanna watch Killbox? And also, The Best of Wool, I don't know. And a full action sci-fi movie called Channeling. Also, who wanted to know, who, who didn't want to know about the American Illuminati? Number two, the truth revealed there was a number one. Figure out how good that is. And breakers. On pushing cardboard, swords around the throne, an unboxing. Patrick's Tactics and Tutorials this week has two videos. One on Command and Colors, Ancients, 407, Medway. No, not Midway, Medway. And another video called Here Come the Rebels, scenario number four, three cigars. On my own worst enemy, he's unboxing the US Civil War, a game designed by Mark Simonich. Now I know, I was on everything you wanted to know about war games but were afraid to ask and I was stunned that Mark Simonich did a Civil War game. But I knew it, I just forgot. Mike Lambeau, this name is coming around. Mike Lambeau, 
So Mike Lambo Solitaire Book Games, he gives us an early look at beaches for the brave. On the channel that is memoirs of World War II, Canadian World War II veteran Jim Parks recalls the invasion of Juneau Beach on D-Day facing Nazis SS in combat and the long struggle to liberate Holland from Hitler's gap. The video entitled Surviving D-Day, Memoirs of World War II, number 41. Three videos out on Mauro Faina's channel, episode 58 of Il Gianni Zero, a special story, and Il Gianni Zero Nero video special uh, game review, I should say magazine, war game magazine review, and live with Mauro Faina on Il Gianni Zero Nero. All this in Italian for you wannabe Italian listeners, or I mean, wannabe, yeah, you know what I'm saying. The vampire that is Mark Felton of Mark Felton Production has three videos. Putin's Armageddon weapon, also World War II weapons used in the Ukraine war, and Ukraine's lost strategic bomber fleet. All this on Mark Felton Productions. On Little Wars TV this week, two videos. The day McClellan lands on the peninsula and the day McClellan's plans come undone. Six videos out on Legendary Tactics, first video, Cascadia board game, the full game playthrough, also cards, the card game called Cards. What happened? He had a bad loss, and what could he have done, I guess? Also, a horrified dramatization, board game dramatization of a game called Horrified, and tournament game number one, two, and three of the Shores of Tripoli, Tournament of Champions.
on kings and generals for videos, creeping artillery barrage, modern warfare tactics, also crusades from the Byzantine perspective, and fall of Batan and the Batan death march, and Blitzkrieg, modern warfare, tactics, and shorts. On Kilroy was here six videos out. First video being unmatched, Battle of Legends, a restoration. Also unmatched, Deadpool by Restoration Games. Again, unmatched, Battle of Legends, Restoration Games. And Coffee with Kilroy, Battles of Medieval Britain by Mark Lambeau, a solitaire game. I gotta get some of those games. Also, he talks about Panzer Battles, 11 Panzer on the Cheer River a game published by Multiman Publishing, and another coffee with Kilroy, Ghosts, Ghosts, Ghosts of the Jungle, a solitaire game again by Mike Lambo. Respect. On Jim Ozarkski, one video, back to Kanai for Age of Hannibal, or Kanai. I don't know, Jim, help me out. ID Jester's just nailing these videos. What's he on, a permanent vacation? In the war room with Tony and Rough Swordsman Wargamer, they're talking with Hex the Hex. Man, I, I haven't checked it out. I'm going to check it out. Plus, he plays Warframe for the next hundred years. All this on ID Jester. The great channel that is History Hustle. Why some Ukrainians joined the Axis in World War II. And here it says, Ukrainians that fought for Germany during the Second World War. In this video, he explores reasons for collaboration in German-occupied Ukraine during World War II. Hexes and soldiers, he's doing custom card game fiddling. And he's up front rank? He's playing up front? But these are not up front cards. Or is he playing up front? Yeah, well, he's titled everything. Uh, he's capitalized everything up front rank. Like, come on, Jason. Jesus. I thought you were smarter than that. Help me out a little bit. You rat. On Hex to Hex. Advanced squad leader. SK. I know SK. He sent me SK and it's simple. For God's sakes. Uh, the starter kit. For God's sakes. I couldn't get it last time. But stuff happens like that to me. So I shouldn't take it seriously. You know what I'm saying? So, starter kit one, scenario two, final after action report. Ha! Nailed that. This week on Harsh Rules, Ben Harsh teaches us the core game and terrain rules of Command and Colors Ancients, published by GMT. And Teme of Hairbrain Games has two videos out. He reviews Dead Reckoning in one video and Tim's low budget question and answers AMA. Tim, you gotta help me with this AMA. All these acronyms AMA, OCS, uh, BFG, uh, FCK. Uh, help me! GG of the Geek Gamers takes a look inside the Solo Game Master's Guide. Diagonal moves. He reviews Crowbar, the Rangers at Point Zook from Flying Big Games, a game designed by the great Herman Lottman. On Dave's Gaming Cave this week, four videos out on Midway Solitaire Deluxe. Part 6, 7, 8, and 9, a game by Decision Games. Compass Games Town Hall, episode. 41. Tune in with Bill Thomas for the latest company news and for your chance to win a free game. Combat Board Games. Unbagging a game called Rescue Ollie North by Crunchy Frog Enterprises. Now, seriously, this game is called Rescue Ollie North and it's a new and revised edition. Hello everyone, this is Michel Leviathan Sorbet from the Polish YouTube channel Wojennik TV. Here is, as always, my quick roundup of the content published on my channel during the last seven days. As always, I released four videos, two of them were wargaming related. 
The first one was my top three of the games that I have played during the previous months, some during March 2022. And on this list I included two war games. The first one was Legion of Honor. Legion of Honor is a game which I have already presented on Vainic TV also in English. This is a game in which we can incarnate a grognard during the Napoleonic, during the revolutionary and Napoleonic wars. Our main objective will be to survive those wars, to live an adventure and also to reach the highest possible rank during our military career. Extremely entertaining game, which is focused on storytelling, which is, which is focused on living an adventure in which we cannot change the outcome of history apart from the final climatic battle of Waterloo or the battle of Mont Saint-Jean, if you prefer. Uh, but this is a game in which we will be reliving the whole Napoleonic saga from a very different perspective than in many other war games. The second video, uh, the second game which I included on my top three list was Ambush. Ambush is a real classic released in 1983 by Victory Games designed by, by John Butterfield and Eric Lee Smith. This is a solitaire war game in which we can take control of a squad of American soldiers in Normandy 1944. This is a classical game, this is really one of the solitaire games, one of the games which I dreamt of having, which I dreamt of playing, and now I have, uh, I have dedicated a huge part of March to playing this game and I really enjoyed it a lot. The second video, which was wargaming related on my channel during the last seven days, was the Polish unboxing released on Wednesday. This was the unboxing of War Chest. This is not obviously a war game, this is rather an abstract game, but this is a game war game related because it was designed by David Thompson and Trevor Benjamin. Both guys were behind the Undaunted project, but this is a game in which we will be constructing our own army uh, and it's, it's a very special logical game because we will have a big pool of units and we will be drafting those units from a bag. So this is a bag drafting, bag drafting abstract game, wargaming related, because we will be trying to take control, to seize control of the battlefield using different kinds of units. This game was in, was firstly released by Alderac Entertainment Group. The reason why I presented it on Vainic TV is because Vainic TV is one of the mediated patrons of the Polish edition, which will be very soon released by Lucky Duck Games. And those were the two videos which were wargaming related released on my channel during the last seven days. As always, I wish you an excellent weekend, have a great gaming, and see you next time. The chief of bonding with board games has two videos out this week both on evil twilight 2000 season 1 episode 13 fubar back to base and an interlude character building times 4 rpg candace harris is looking mighty stunned having the great herman lutman and i say it and he's a humble man and he's gonna say oh come on dan no no herman you're a great designer. You're one of the world's best. All right. And he was live with Candace Harris on Board Game Geek. Check it out. They talk about Dawn of the Zeds. My favorite um, edition, second edition. Thank you. On Big Board Gaming, A Week in Hell. Gameplay updated and blog post coming soon. Also, Salerno 43 reading part 3, a portal 1, and another video called Almost a Tutorial But Not, Pacific War Naval Air Strike, and Victory Conditions Met in Scenario 4 of a game, Eastern, dot dot dot, all this on Big Board Gaming, the daughter and father team of Back to the Table where they all have fun. So four days ago, he gave us a solo list of games. And this is uh, after his solo list of war games. So another video, favorite real-time games, FGF. Everybody's got to anachronize everything. Mm -hmm. Also gaming accessories and storm weavers. All this on back to the table. Everything ASL on Illuminating Rounds, episode 65, Hansen's Bridge. Ardwolf Slayer, counterclipping, 
War game prices versus value. So war game prices versus value and more. That's a good, good topic. You know what? You're going to pay about 100 bucks for war game. And you're going to play it three, four times. Is it worth it? Hmm. Six Actual has two videos out. One on Jungle Warfare, 4K that is. On LHY, Solomon's unboxing in 4K, LHY. LHY. Eh, lock and load something? I don't know. And the next one's Airborne Warfare in 4K, LHY again. Unboxing, 4K. Well, hold on a second, LHY. It's airborne over Europe. What's he saying? The last hundred yards! For God's sake, man! Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Centurion's Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. First thing we did this week was a homebrew scenario, Trappers vs. Sioux. Essentially what was going on is some Indians were upset that some trappers were trapping in their territory, so they decided to go on a mission to burn down their cabin, burn down their outhouse, and steal their cows. Then we did war game chat number 41 which was about Gary Khan. Len and I had went to this convention over the weekend. Uh, it was a really good time. We played a bunch of games and went to some seminars and stuff and went to the dealer's area. Then we did an honest review of Guadalcanal. Guadalcanal is from Dark City Games. It's a very simple sim simulation of that battle. It has opposed die rolls, uh, which I have mixed feelings about. Played a lot better two-player than it did solo. And then we did a first look at Eindhoven Bridge from Victory Point Games. L looks like a super simple m micro game about uh, the battle for this bridge. Thanks for watching and have a good evening. On three minute board games, legendary Marvel in about three minutes, but that was taken care of last week. This week, role player in about three minutes. Check him out. He's the guy who's doing the coin game, the space coin game. I, I forget what it's called on GMT. That's right, this guy. And that's me, the groupie with a rock star, Ardwolf, on everything you wanted to know about war games but were afraid to ask. You know what I'm saying? We were talking about a lot of stuff. And look at the people who were, who were around. Beat Cafe, William Bird, a Gray Day. You know what I'm saying? Charles Latora, David Imparato. Kind of had it was more people than that, too. Man, remember World War II? Largest disaster of World War II that you never heard of. Yeah, also shooting civilians. World War II, Okinawa, Marines described the Japanese shooting civilians. Two videos out on Terry Talks movies. Time travel, space travel, and a giant bug. Seriously. Also, Moonfall was fun. Morbius was flawed. That fantastic channel, Indy Nidell and Gang, World War II, week by week, day by day. Check out all the videos in the last six days. Denazify the world. Resist now. Also, the live streaming, ask us anything, as in any YouTube channel. Also, the end of Hydra, World War II. That's an April Fool one, but check it out, it's fun. And Patton has a plan, and it's bad. I don't know, I, I kind of like Patton. And the German art of bunker building. Huh? You know, someone had to be the artist there. A game for gamers, made by gamers, by Flying Pink Games. Another week, another show. Man, it's going, it's going to go on five years now. This is amazing. Um, <clears throat> Please like, subscribe. Please support this channel on Patreon, please. Um, I just got back from work, and uh, it's like seven o'clock Friday evening, and I'm finishing off the show. And I'm doing my outro here. I'm having a, uh, a birra moretti. It's an Italian beer. It's okay, you know, it's nice, it's a lager. Or, yeah, it's a lager. Yeah, obviously it's a lager. Uh, but I mean, you know, I mean, if you want the best beers in the world, you come to Quebec. If you want to argue with that with me, anytime. Anytime. Alright. 
And you know, I got back from work. My wife made a little pizza and those little thin breads. I ate, you know. Uh, took a shower and now I'm doing this outro. And uh, I thought about something. You know, it's like the evening ain't over for me. Like, I I'd love to go out to a pub. And a war game pub. You know, here we call them brasseries. And, um, you know, not even to play games. Because, uh, you know, I'm a groupie. Um, but just to hang around, man, you know. Have Rob Moffat there. Rob, get in touch with me, I swear to God. You know, Stigler's there, Rob Carroll's there, Voynich's there, Dave is there, you know what I mean? The punk rocker, war game punk rocker institution, something uh, I can't remember right now. Uh, just a whole bunch of people. Stuka Joe once in a while comes in, you know, because he's royalty, the guy, you know? And we just shoot the shit, man. And, and, and you know, it'd be great to tell Stigler to shut up, shut up! Stigler, you know, but he's part of the gang, man. He's all, he's always going to be part of the gang. And it's great to have him there. And that's what I want. I want to go to a pub and see all, everybody, uh, make new friends and, you know, uh, just talk about life, man. Talk about whatever, you know, like, what, what war game are you playing? What do you think? Mark Herman's war game there. Is it worth 125 bucks? Artie tells me that once it's out of print, it's going to go up to 400 bucks. So you know, whatever. Uh, you know, sometimes Mark Herman might jump in. Herman Lutman will be there, man, I swear. You know, CID Jester and Rough Swordsman and Tony. Bah, he's too busy. Ah, oh, man, that's fun. You know, Friday night like that. You know, and you kill it early. You come home at midnight. Big deal. You had a great time. There's, there's always great times to be had. When friends are together, eh? So anyways, um, hopefully one day I'll have a war game pub. I'd like it English style. Yeah. Because Frenchman style here, it's more of an open pit type thing, you know? And the English, they have more of quaint stuff like that. I, I like that. I like that. Not that the open pits aren't fun, but you know what I'm saying. Look. Life is grand. I almost just called a fat slob from a woman in palliative care. Hey, she reads it like she sees it. What do you want me to tell you? It was funny. Poor lady. Uh, have a great weekend. And um, be nice. It's always fun to be nice. Nothing hurts you when you're nice. You know what I'm saying? To a certain extent. Take care. Thank you.